Hello everyone. Thank you for coming back to my Nasdaq YouTube channel. This is Johnny. Today's video is gonna continue my Secret Server lab. Previously, we have installed the Psychotic Secret Server integrated with our domain controller. Also, we have Windows 7 Workstation as a client to access our Psychotic Secret Server web GUI. We installed a protocol handler. We installed a .NET framework. We also installed a Chrome plugins. So we can use launcher web password filler to automatically fetch the secret from a secret server and launch a remote session, either website session or either RTP session or either SSH session. In today's video, um, I'm going to focus on remote password changing. That's another security features. So this is our web GUI secret server. We have our domain admins configured. There's a no remote password changing options here. So to enable this security feature remote password changing RPC, there's three steps, same as other security feature like I did for session recording. First, you need to enable this feature globally. Second, you need to activate this secret feature on a secret or secret template. The last step, always testing on secret to see if it's working. Remote password changing is under the admin menu. By default, after you finish the installation, it wasn't enabled. So you just need to click edit. You need to enable it. There are two important options here. One is for remote password changing. That for the changing the password regularly. Second one is heartbeat. That will verify your password at your interval. So one thing is change it. Another thing is keep verifying, make sure your account, your remote secret account password is synchronizing with psychotic secret server. Verify it. Enable that. Once you enable it, if you go back to your secret, you will see this one more option shows up here. It's called a remote password changing. Now you have option to enable it from secret directly set all to change then you can select it the manual or change it randomly generated way also you may need to assign another privilege account to make this change you can choose for example you can choose administrator account that's a domain administrator you can use that or you can use another account you assigned with this sometimes you may need another associate account associate the secret to be assigned with this changing password changing behavior but in our this account we don't need it this is changing from a secret level. For best practice, it's always best to to do it from a secret policy level. For example, if you have an admin, AD admin policy, this has been assigned to one folder, and um, you probably want to do it from enforced policy to make sure password changing is enforced, auto changing, and have it enabled. And you assign a privilege account for that.
you, if you need another account, another secret to make this change, to run your script, for example, or PowerShell, PowerShell script, then you may need to set up here. But for this one, now we don't need that. So we enforced auto change, enforce heartbeat, enforce the previous account. And we can save it. Then we can go back to our secret. If you look at the folder, in this folder we have already assigned the policy, AD admin policy. So the admin to this secret will automatically apply to that policy. But you can override it if you can set up your own policy on this secret that will override the folders group policy. So in here we may want to do habit to verify. Habit is pending for admin two. You can tell Habit has completed for admin two and it was successfully. Let's make a change password now. We can use a random generated password or you can use manual. So we can do change a password. Admin two password change succeeded. Let's go back. Habit success. Last access just now. It's not out of sync. Okay. We can show the password. That's a random generated password for admin two. There are more settings. You can configure your own password changes. For example, those are all built-in password changes. We can take a look some scripted here. Unix account custom SSH. You can see here the script, the command that I can run. They're using the PASSWD command and then they will enter current password and then they will enter new password. So those four commands are going to make a Unix password changes. You can test the action. But for most of those changing commands, you will be able to customize it and change it if you need it. So this is a Cisco account custom SSH password changing command here, six commands, enable, and then put the password in, and config terminal, and using the username, password, and end it, and copy wrong. Config to the startup config. That's it. You can easily create your own password changes. You can go to new and find out the existing building template and make some changes. Save. Here you can put the authenticate as. So you need to map in that like username, password, key, passphrase, and also then you need to put the commands one by one. Uh, so the first one is verify. That's for habit. The second one is changing actually. 
this is for heartbeat because you will change they may have two different set of the commands to do that for example here existing changing password command there's a four of them here but for the verify there's no command you just need to log in That um, password remote password changing feature enable. Hopefully it's helpful. Uh, thank you for watching.